Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here just outside Dallas, Texas. I'm making a video that not a lot of people talk about. It's actually trunk cleaning. And what does that really mean to me? This is a, an important part. I'm working on a client's car. It's a 2016. I'll back out here and take, have you look at this thing. It's a 2016 Toyota Camry. It's in great shape. It's a very good customer of mine. He wants me to bring this to another level. So we're going to steam. We're going to clean this thing. We're going to dress it with the appropriate dressings. Then I'm going to do a one step all in one with HD speed. You guys talk, you, you guys have heard me talk about HD speed. We're just going to get a little bit of a correction, a little bit of polish, and then we're going to put some protection down at the same time. It's a white car. So even in direct sunlight, I can see the scratches and swirls, but we're going to eliminate some of them and just make this white p car pop. But here's the deal. I want to talk about how important is it for you to dial in this trunk? To me, it's extremely important. People put groceries inside this stuff. This is an area where a lot of detailers will kind of, they'll brush through it and just leave it and then go on throughout the rest of the car. And I disagree with this philosophy. You've got to dial these things in. Now I'm holding the camera so it's going to be a little shaky, so bear with me. But there's a couple of different things I want to talk about. And that's inside these inside the trunk lip inside these jams if you will all the way around the trunk you've got to be able to get in there and it's awfully tight it's awfully this is hard to get your finger in, in a microfiber towel and really clean this area up well so here's a trick you guys have probably seen this before this is a mother's brush this is pretty cheap you can buy these things just about anywhere and what I'll do bear with me I know the camera's shaky what I'll do is I'll wrap it in a microfiber towel like that. So here it is in a microfiber towel. I'll spray some all-purpose cleaner inside that trunk jam. And then I'll take my mother's little brush wrapped in the all-purpose cleaner and just work out this jam back and forth. Get all that grease and grime out of there and make sure you clean it completely. That's really important to me. It's important to my customers when they open up this trunk to, in to inspect my work. Yes, the trunk may look great. It may look clean. But what about all the jams all around these areas here? And sometimes they can be a little bit tight. Here's a little trick. Just taking a cheap mother's brush, wrapping it in a microfiber towel, spraying your all-purpose cleaner inside these jams and getting in there. Because so, you don't want necessarily, you don't want this brush to be scratching up against the paint. That doesn't make sense. So wrap it in a microfiber cloth. Make it make your life a little bit easier. Plus it's going to absorb some of that dirt and all-purpose cleaner that you put in there. Now here's the second thing I want to talk about when it comes to trunk cleaning. Vacuum it out. That's great. It all looks wonderful, right? The next thing I'm going to do, you guys have heard me talk about this stuff. It's called Intercon Activate Plus. This car doesn't have any issues with odors. That's not why I'm using it. But here's the deal. People put groceries in the trunk. People can have a milk spill. They can have all sorts of stuff that happens in this trunk. So I like to spray just lightly some of that Activate Plus on the bottom of the on the bottom of the trunk here just to kind of freshen it up, give it a nice smell. You never know. You might open up this trunk and it might have been customers in the past that spilled milk or whatever. You're going to have to get that smell out. Milk is a pain in the butt to remove the smell. But Intercon is great. The Activate Plus is great from removing organic type of spills like milk and stuff like that and vomit. That's a, just a cool thing to remember. The other thing I'm going to do after I dial in all the seals, all the jams around the car and of course around the trunk too. I want to clean all this up around the, the uh, trunk jams. There's not a speck of dirt on there. That looks great all the way down here and down these jams. Again, my little trick with the mother's brush and the microfiber towel. Then what I'm going to do after my Activate Plus has had a chance to dry, I'm going to take one step further when it comes to the trunk. Bear with me. I'm moving stuff around. Sorry. I'm going to take my Scotch Guard and I'm going to spray the inside of this trunk. Why do I do that? Just in case my customer has a future spill it's much easier to clean, much easier to take care of. This is a very cheap, you know, it's Scotch Guard. It's $5 a can. I just spray it lightly over the carpet in the trunk, on the sides of the trunk as well. 
Once I'm done with that, I'm going to close the trunk and I'm not going back in there. I am done dialing this area in. But there's a little couple of my secrets there of cleaning around the jams with the, mic with the mother's brush and the microfiber towel so you're not scratching the paint. Make sure you get all those areas around there. Vacuum that trunk out. You want to put some Intercon Activate Plus just in case there was past spills in there. That's great. Then go ahead and let that dry and hit it with Scotch Guard. Hit it with some Fabric Guard for future spills. Close this trunk and be done with it and then move on to the inside of the car. Just a quick little silly video on how I clean trunks. Hope that guys, I hope it helps you out. Until next time, be safe, love one another, and we'll see you on the next video.